Mary. And Elmo. We invite you to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Yes, y'all, because today we are talking about um, Happy People episode yeah. two, you guys. And yes. it is all about Josh Duggar and, and the pedophilia yeah. that was up in the church. And I really want to. Well, the IBLP I, girl. Yeah, I, you know, so I really want to. Yeah. I remember when the first time I saw, saw Josh, I felt like he was very arrogant. Mm -hmm. You know, even even though, yes, he's young, you know, and, you know, usually kids, you know, the young are very confident and stuff like that. There was like a arrogance to him, though. There was an arrogance to him, and I felt like, you know, the parents seemed to have all the other children under control. Mm -hmm. But with him... It seemed like there wasn't a lot of check on him. Yeah. And I don't know if he's the first child or if it's Jana and um, John David who are the first ones. If you guys can let me know. If Josh the first child, does he come after the twins? I thought he came after the twins. I believe he's the eldest. Josh. So I felt like the parents, there, were not a lot of, there was not a lot of check on Josh. Um, and I did not know why. Of course, when the whole thing came out, I was like, oh, I see. He was gone for a little while. He's that problem child who they're probably walking around on eggshells with. But I also thought to myself, because when you have a son who is very arrogant like that, he picks it up from the father. That, that child that feels, the way I looked at Josh, to me, he was arrogant in a bad way. I don't know, it was just something that I got from him. And I didn't want to be too, like, judgmental. But, I mean, just me as a mother looking at someone like Josh, I don't want him for my daughter. I wouldn't want him for my daughter. I feel like Jim he Bob did him a to disservice. He seemed very um, arrogant, like someone who feels like he can do whatever and get away with it. Well, the reason why That's he's feeling he that stru way That's what he struck me as. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, as wonderful as this father seems to be a leader, and I remember looking up his sign, and he's a cancer at that time. And you know cancer, man, uh, they can be something else. Yeah. Um, and um, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say, just to get there some cancer men here. But they, they talk a good game. They talk a good game. But... They can be sometimes very, very, they, they're kind of mean. They can be very mean people. Yeah, they, you know, they're actually, um, you know, I'm not going to lie. I feel like cancer men are can be very horrible, So horrible I kind of have always kind of looked honest. as, yeah, I, I kind That's of, just from my experience. Yeah. I'm not saying for just everybody like, else, because like there might be some like good like a cancers. Gemini man. I mean, I'm a Gemini, but you have like Gemini men who like can never keep their, I wasn't, they can't keep their leg closed. They can't keep their, their stuff tucked. Or oh, let me not talk about tucked. But they can't, they can't like just close their stuff. Like they're just cheats. A lot of them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, not very good. Not very loyal to their women. So, I feel like but the reason why her, Josh even felt like he could do whatever is because yeah. they had his TV show. Yeah. He had just finished doing all the stuff to his sisters. You yeah. guys sent him off. You Kinda brought him back. You you sent him off. Yeah. But you brought him back for the TV show. You yeah. did him a huge disservice. Yes. Right. I mean, he was there doing basically child labor. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. Would it have helped him? I can't say. And if then it the sisters, but he, he should have let him see yeah. his punishments throughout right yeah but i don't know if it if it would have really helped him because yeah. i do think there was still maybe pedophilia going on over yeah. there too i really felt like so. I, he should have really been in therapy the whole family should have been in therapy especially those girls i feel like the jessa jessa and jill never had an opportunity to really tell josh for him to see the pain that they went through because even in that interview where they were here talking about it, even in that interview, they were covering him. Like, well, you know, I mean, even the stuff that he did is not as bad as, you know, some other things that I've heard. And actually, we weren't even aware, you know, he was the one who went and confessed. So even in that, they had to, like, suppress their own pain and hurts about it to cover him. So when you have a child who's arrogant like that anyway to begin with, but I always think he, they get from the, if it's a son, he gets that from the father at that age. And 
So I always have kind of looked at Jill, Jim Bob with a little bit of a side eye, just because the way I saw the way that son was. But the daughter has never had an opportunity. So he never actually even got that opportunity to really see the pain that he caused with his children. And I don't even know if Michelle ever articulated to him, like the, the trust that you have totally and completely violated. Like yeah. we can't have you here at all. I you gotta go live actually, somewhere else I completely I don't for the rest actually, of your time. I don't think they actually ever healed from it because I Absolutely feel like not. they felt like it was better. I mean, me Absolutely personally, not. who the hell actually wants to put out there that their brother touched them? Like, who in their right mind actually wants it. that out and there? And that's why they but needed that like therapy also, for a therapist to be able to give each of them an opportunity. And for them, if I, I think it was very, I didn't think it was good of the parents. I'm not putting my, my daughters out there. You're going to now come talk to the world and you've not even had time to heal from this. You've not even had time to actually even understand what happened. And now I have to go out into the world. And like Jill said it best. Like I have to go out to the world now to come save the family show for money that you never pay us. i got to yeah. now come save some family show because of Josh again. And how about my own pain? I see why she's not talking to the family right now. You know? Yeah. So they I just really felt like it was ridiculous. The they really should not have. And the fact that I also just felt like her saying that this should have never been um, uncovered. I feel like what the family did, they kind of tried to hide it and suppress it. I don't think they actually really dealt with it as they should have. No. I mean, I do think it was good that they did report it because I because we don't Absolutely. know who, what parent is going to actually take their child to the police station to have that put on their record. They didn't have to do that. No. I mean, especially in the society that they're in. It's a rare parent that does that. I mean, because in this society who, like, you don't really have to do, especially with the culture that they're in where there's pedophilia no. and all this stuff, they really didn't have to. So I commend them on them no. at least reporting it and putting it on his record, right? Yeah. But I don't think that they actually dealt with therapy. I don't even think therapy is Certainly really a thing the there. And they're also the, the women are the treated like second class citizens. So yeah. you have been molested, okay? Forgive. And that they were you also must saying forgive right away and stay sweet. And they were also saying that the brothers is typical for the brothers to actually do that in the culture or whatever. So they mm -hmm. said no one was surprised. So I do think yeah. that they didn't get therapy for it. They don't believe in therapy. And then also it's kind of like, well, no one's really going to address it. The mom's not really going to address it. So I feel like there's something that they should have done with the doors. Because yeah. the fact that they're still crying about it means that they have not healed and moved on from it. And I really think that this is so important for just families that are watching now. Because like I said, I worked with people who go through this sexual abuse. A lot of times it's familial sexual abuse, sexual assault. Um, rape and I actually in, in the times that I've worked with that I've never actually met a parent who goes and reports the child that 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 has never occurred and I've worked with I've worked with quite a bit of, of um, families that have gone through that and um, what happens is they cover it yeah. You who are the victim, usually are the ones who's told, you know, um, either not to talk about it again. Okay, I'm aware it happened. You know, don't talk about it again. Don't bring it up, you know. Um, and that is, it's, it's, it's not fair. Or you have to forgive. Or this just happened one time. You know, like, like they, 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 they reduce what you went through right away okay, this occurred, but it, it was only it was only that one time it occurred. Yeah, I, you know? I feel like they're or not it, going it to wasn't as, sit down. Well, it wasn't really as bad. Or something. It's like it just, anything, it just makes the victim feel worse. I just feel like, you know, with that mm -hmm. whole thing, I just feel like they just did not do, like, their job yeah. in terms of really protecting the girls. And I wonder if, but if I, it's during that time, because it's really only now, I guess, as... In America, like you, you hear this story a lot now, a lot more now. People are willing to talk about it now, you know, and know that hey, really, and it just it takes time to heal from something like that. But the therapy now, people are going to therapy for that. People are addressing the trauma. 
Well, I think it really is the culture because I yeah. feel like those pastors, because there was this pastor in this episode was they were talking oh about goodness. spanking and he said, I want to show you how to spank and bless a child. It seems like you were sexually harassing a child and then trying to bless them That's with what whatever the hell you were saying. Because, because the thing is, he was tapping, it, like we're not going to get into it because we're almost, we're already at 10 was minutes. Gross. But he was tapping it him was and then he just lingered and Touching, looked like he grabbed. private areas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And my thing is, I also don't get the whole blanket training. Like we have to break the will and then Michelle oh, was child. also doing yeah. that. Like yeah. I just felt like that so from the time that they're a baby you, you teach them breaking. how to be the perfect victim how yep. to silence themselves exactly. and also how not to stick up for themselves when somebody does something exactly. because you're not allowed to complain you're not allowed to backbite you're not allowed to stick up for yourself you're not allowed to sass anybody back yeah. so how are you supposed to actually be able to say no and i feel like this woman yeah. tia leaving too was also in the show she was an ex-iblp member in this mm-hmm. episode too and she was talking about how, you know, when a man comes along, it automatically is supposed to be from God. So you yes. have to just be okay with it. And yes. she said that with her husband, she actually never felt safe with him. Didn't like him. And didn't like him because he was actually trying to get sexual with her throughout the thing. She said she was spending off throughout the, the whole, whole entire courtship. Yeah. She stayed here and she just for her to... And just attracted to him on, on top of that, too. Just for her to get raped three times the wedding night. And he just ended up being very abusive. They had um, five kids kids in 10 years. Mm, 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 Five mm. kids in 10 years. And I just felt like, you know. Someone who is so violent with you from the get-go. And then you also wonder what happened to him. That he's, he's, this is what, this is how he behaves with a woman during the wedding night. Yeah. Like so much anger. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but they did come out to support Josh and stuff like that. I'm going to get back to Josh because he didn't talk about something. Mm. Um, but, you know, I mean, obviously Jill and stuff like that. The guy, oh, yeah. Jim Holt, said that um, Jim Ball was not actually very truthful about everything that happened. But I feel like my thing is, even though we're on a TV show, I'm it's like, right, difficult. like we do this YouTube, but I'm not going to sit down here and tell you all the sins I've committed in my 24 years of life. I ain't yeah. doing that. Like, right. first of all, who in their right mind is going to sit down there and say that? So do I think, I think it's a little unreasonable for the public to say that, oh, you should have told us all this right away. You should have told us everything. You mean before they well, had the TV show? Yes. I mean, yeah. do I think that they should be trying to put on a facade of like perfect family? No. no. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's my only I wish issue. they had actually brought it up and put that as part of their reality. What about the sexual assault of my daughter? I'm sorry. My oh, brother touched me. There's saying. no way in hell I'm ever mentioning it. Like, I'd rather go to my grave before I mention that. I'm sorry. I'm I, you ain't putting that crap on TV. You put anything else on TV, but you're not putting out what I went through on TV just because mm-hmm. you want to be transparent. I'm sorry. You're not doing that. You can okay, show people yeah. what you want to show them. But I like, don't I think... I see what you're saying. Yeah. Like, that's ridiculous. I don't think it is right for any of us to sit down here and say that they should have told like us. Because, like, because it was that's such a, a deep public. shame. Yeah, but it wasn't a public thing. That was something that happened way before the show even came on. No, but it's, it's in a record because they reported it to an authority. Yes, so to I the police. Feel, they didn't report it to the to the public. Right, they didn't but go put it on Instagram. In record. But it didn't happen publicly. It happened to me. Yeah, but, but okay, I hear what you're well, saying. Well, not to me. I mean, yeah. I've never had that happen to me. Like, let me just be clear. But, I mean... Especially when you're talking about if my brother did something, I'm going to take it to my grave. I'm like... <laughs> you mean for the show, but right. not in our family. Right. Like, like, I'm not going to, you know, be... Certainly not with me as a like, mom. Yeah. Like... Yeah. Yeah. So that's all I'm saying. But I just felt like, you know, there, I just felt like there was really no reason for them to come out and even do the interview. Because that's how like, the is, show is ruined. Yeah. And then they had the whole Ashley Madison thing come yeah. out. And apparently he had paid some porn star thousands and thousands of dollars to, to be, be quiet. quiet. I did not even know he had sex with a porn star. I yeah. thought that he just was caught talking about to it or whatever. On, at, you know. Yeah. yeah. And they got caught. That's what I thought it was. Yeah. Just to find out that this man was really out here doing some crazy stuff. And she said stuff. it felt like rape. Because a lot of times when people have been molested themselves and raped themselves. They get off from especially control. Especially to become a victimizer. Or, yeah. And that happened to them when they were a boy, when they were a boy, and it happened to them when they were younger. Yeah, that's what they do. They, when they have, have an opportunity to have, you know, sex with someone, it's rape. That's how they were introduced to it, and that anger it continues. Yeah, and um, unfortunately, it's the women who get it, you know. Um, but. What I was, you were saying that, you know what I was saying in terms of Jim Bob 
and his family because it was a record. It was a record that you guys have out there. I feel as though you should, because it's a record, this is a public record that can come out and, and at any time, I feel like he should have let TLC and the producers know. But this I mean, is a it's record. Like, do you really though? I mean, yes, like, that's you saying. have to because I, that's a public thing. Anyone can have access to that. It's like it's like a court thing. I if don't I'm going to be on, well, if, I don't, because I, my thing is like no, that. but like say like you yeah. go on the TV right, and you are a Christian family and all this stuff, yeah. and say you got into what you know Michelle says she was, she got into boyfriend girlfriend culture, right, yeah. and you like have nudes or whatever like pictures. At the end of the day, we all know pictures are a lifetime. You can yeah, delete them. Yeah. Stuff like yeah, that. I'm not Would you go about out there no, and no, say, no, "Oh, I'm I not, have no, these I'm things not talking here, about that. that out"? That's a pro that's a that's a, everybody's but, making videos, sex videos, and stuff. Nobody's talking about that. This is what I'm talking about. But it's still public. This you is can, uh, you this have is the same no. For that. This is this is this is different. This is a criminal record. It, it's like when you go to when you go to start a job. On your job, they ask you. They ask everybody. Are you, uh, have you been convicted of anything? It's right there. Yeah. So what I'm saying, if you go for a job, you, you're you obligated to write that. I know that he's a minor. So because he's a minor, he's coming under the umbrella of the father. Because the father's the one who's making the negotiations. He should have known as an adult. If my minor child has a record and I'm going to be on television oh, he didn't and know my he child no I'm talking about now that you're on TLC they have pitched this thing to you my child 10 years ago I has a record of some felony or criminal activity that they did it's a record I am obligated as an adult to say my child it's just the it's just the right thing to do. I will tell them because I'm on television and my child is going to be on television. Look, you all, I know this is a minor, so probably you're not going to ask me because you're not going to immediately think that a minor has a record. So, so they're not going to ask. They gotten but that what I'm going been a to risk. ask you and what I'm going to let you guys know, my child does have a record that says that he molested his, his sister's and two other, three other women, I think it was five five girls. And I want you guys to know that before we're doing this show. Like, I'm going to let you know. Because it's the right thing to do. And then give them the opportunity to say, okay, let us see how we can actually write this in the show. Because maybe this is a good opportunity for us to actually talk about this. It was a missed opportunity with Jim Bob because you were there covering, you've been used to covering for Josh. Josh was not arrogant the way I saw him just because he's arrogant. He's arrogant like that because he's done a lot of shit in this family and has been covered with it. Okay? Because this system, it covers a lot of times the victimizer they cover for them. They cover the men. Let's just be honest. Yes. They cover the men. And a lot of times it's the women who suffer. You know, we're they the always ones who suffer. suffer. We're the ones who got to forgive. We're the ones who have to get over. And I'm telling you, sexual abuse is not something that you just get over. Hey, get over it. It happened a long time ago. This is a lifetime. It, it goes on forever. Until you heal from that crap, it affects so many parts of your life. Okay? So I just feel like if Jim Bob, but you see when you're trying to cover, you're trying to act like you're this perfect family and, and these are the teachings that the whole world should have and we got it so good, that's why this occurred. You should have told TLC because it was deceitful for you not to tell TLC. Well, they know, they and I don't want know to give them a TLC TV show. already knew. Then, then don't give me a TV show. Then I'm gonna go continue to do what the hell I've been doing, well, taking care of my family and moving on. He was trying to go and actually be in politics. He had was it? He had lost something before, oh, that's and what he I'm said, saying. "Well, let me try to go and be on TV because maybe then I'll have this a platform." I've been looking at him with a little side eye. Anyway, we're already at twenty so. minutes. So, it's Mary.
and Elma. We will get into the rest of it in episode three. Let's get in the comments. You know, Let I us know, know we see things sometimes differently a little bit, you know. So you guys get in the comments and tell us what you think. It doesn't matter who, you know, you know, you you thought what Mary was saying was was fine, you're rocking with that or you're rocking with what I was saying. But let us know what are your thoughts? Like I don't how know. he could have been handled. She will he have said something. You know, do you have to say, hey, my minor child has a record? I think you do. I think it's deceitful if you don't. If I'm going to hire you for some program and your child is going to be a part of it and your child got a record out there, I want to know. My thing is, though, but they have criminals and convicts on TV. So my thing is not like a typical job, but like where I'm a lifeguard. Like when I was a lifeguard, then I you know were a criminal that, background But you still check. got to know. But my thing you is, still got this to is know. TV. You it's have kind to of be a told. different job. It's still a job. They have love at the lockup and all this stuff. And if they I did not that. go and do background but I need checks to on know. them. Obviously, they did not give a damn. No. They didn't. You know something? So you could have done a background check on all of them. They could have, but, but not they didn't. on them because they are minor children. You know, you know, you could, you could have. And then the thing is, I am running this Don't show do as your perfect family that is doing amazing things with nineteen children. This is what your show is. And did I say record of child molestation? And you did not tell me. Eh? Hey. <laughs> See, you've got to say something. I don't know. I'm anyway, kind of indifferent about you it. You guys, let us know. Get in the comments. <laughs>